If you want to learn how to build AI apps and you're just getting started with Airtable, you're in the right place. Airtable is a platform for building AI apps and agents that help you run your most important business processes. In this walkthrough, we'll build an entire AI app from start to finish and explain all the key Airtable concepts as we go. You'll learn how to build an app with Omni, edit your app directly, add data to your app with Omni, and add field agents to your app to perform work for you. The example we'll use today is podcast production and distribution, but the goal of this walkthrough is to give you the tools and confidence you need to build Airtable apps for your exact needs. All right, let's get started. Our journey begins with Omni, our AI collaborator for building custom apps. So we're gonna ask Omni to build a starting point for our app. All we have to do is drop in a prompt. We can give Omni more information and context up here uh, when we hit a uh, team or a company. So we'll say company name is Apex Productions, just for this example. We're in the uh, podcasting space um, and I am on the production team. So that's gonna give Omni a little more context on what we are trying to achieve. And look, it's actually come up with other app ideas and templates for us already, just based on that uh, little bit of context that we gave it. But let's use this prompt that we have and see what Omni comes up with. So as soon as we drop in that prompt, we're gonna see Omni go to work. So it starts thinking through the tables and fields that we're gonna need in our app and we're gonna see those pop into existence right in front of us here. So it's first creating a podcasts table, that makes sense. It's giving us some sample fields that we'll need. You see some sample data in there. Next, we have our episodes table coming in. All right, that makes sense. So we'll have many episodes for each podcast. See some AI field agents generating here as well. We'll come back to those later. And now we see Omni is generating interfaces for us. Okay, so let's take a tour through what Omni created. So first we have an interface here that is showing all of the sponsors. We have an interface for uh, the list of uh, podcasts and episodes, so we can adjust that. Uh, even went ahead and created a release calendar for us, that's useful, so we can visualize what's coming when. When I hit take a quick tour, Omni is going to help talk me through what it has created here. So this first tab up at the top is what we call the data layer. This is where our key information actually lives. So guests, sponsors, podcast episodes, those are tables. Guest name, um, email address, phone number, those are fields. And then John Doe, Jane Smith, and so on, those are records. And it's given us some specific onboarding that's particular to our app, talking us through what each of these tables is intended to keep track of. And then we move to the interface layer. So this is where we'll actually visualize all that data, take action on it and share it with others. So the data layer is really kind of where we as the app owner or builder will go to uh, make changes to the underlying structure of that app or edit data directly. Interfaces is where we wanna actually be performing our work and inviting our team to collaborate with us. We can do some other quick customization here. So uh, if we wanna change the name of our app, if we want to personalize it a little bit with, uh, with some color choices, we can do that right here. Um, choose an icon for it as well. Maybe a mic icon here would be suitable. All right, so let's start to make some changes to our app here. So I'm gonna reorganize some things. So I definitely wanna start with the podcasts table. And then I wanna make sure that that podcast table is associated with the episodes table. So each podcast is gonna be associated to many episodes. So this field here, is called a linked record field in Airtable. And what it does is establish a relationship between two different tables. So in this case, podcast is now related to the episodes table. And I'm gonna make sure that this is turned on in this case, allow linking to multiple records. So when I click in here, I can see that there are multiple episodes associated with this one podcast. And then over on the episodes table, I see the other side of that. So I see that there is a linked record field for podcast and I can see that each episode is associated with one podcast, but in this case, it's only one podcast. So this is what I want. I want the allow linking to multiple records off in this case. And if we take a look here, there's a bunch of other relationships that are established at the episode level as well. So we have guests that we've also linked to each episode and we have sponsors. And then there's all kinds of other data and information about each episode on here. So we can add fields here and make this our own. So I'm actually gonna add one that's just a long text field. And this is gonna be for the episode transcript. And we're gonna set that up now because we're gonna do some interesting things with that later where we're gonna take the transcript and create content from it using a field agent. Over on the guests table, again, we see here how those guests are linked to specific episodes where they appeared. 
And in this case, Omni has intelligently allowed that to be multiple. We might have the same guest on multiple podcast episodes. And then we have our sponsors table, all the companies and brands we'll be working with. Let's add a field here for an ad read. So let's say that this is where we're going to put the actual content of uh, that sponsor's ad that our host is gonna read out on the episode. I'll just put uh, an example here. So example ad read, of course, this can be much longer. You can use formatting in here. But on the episode, what we can do is add what's called a lookup field. So I'll put this right beside the sponsor. I'll right click, go insert left. And there's many field types in Airtable, so sometimes it's handy to just search for what I'm looking for. So this field here is called a lookup. So this is gonna be the ad read. So what I'm gonna do here is say, go to the sponsors table. For the sponsor of this particular episode, go and get the ad read. And I'll create that field. And there we go. So there's three different episodes. I'll clean this up a little bit. There's three different episodes here that were sponsored by this example sponsor, Green Earth Solutions. Rather than have to enter the ad read on every episode, what we did was just entered it once over on the sponsors table and then did a lookup so that it gets pulled into each individual episode where that sponsor is actually sponsoring the episode. So that's where things start to get powerful with structuring your data in Airtable in this way. Now up on the interface level, I have some ideas that I wanna to implement to upgrade my app and I'm gonna ask Omni now for some help. So you saw how you can make changes directly, but let's also now ask Omni to continue building our app with us. So I'll ask Omni to add an interface to review the content of episodes and all the information about those episodes. And there we go, within a few seconds, Omni has created an interface for this purpose. So this is all that same information, all that same data we were just looking at in the data layer. But now here on the interface, this is actually much more visual and designed for us to actually do our work and interact with this data. Let's try another one here. This time we'll ask Omni to add a dashboard to help us track all the revenue from sponsors. So looking for some charts and graphs here. And again, there we go. Omni in a few seconds has created a dashboard for this specific purpose with some charts and graphs and some numbers that can help me understand where we're at in terms of sponsor revenue. If anything's not quite right here, I can always just point and click directly and edit this app in the exact way that I need. So I can come in here and say, actually, I'm gonna click on this element and rather than have this be green, I would like it to be uh, you know, this light blue and I'll change this one to orange. Might be simple changes like that or you might wanna add entirely new uh, interface elements to the page, which you can do through point and click and drag and drop. So Omni is great for going from a simple description of an idea to a working app interface or element of your data layer. Um, and then you always have the no code app building tools of Airtable at your disposal to make those specific changes to get it exactly the way that you need. Okay, we're back in the data layer now and I wanna use Omni to bring some real life data into our app. You can always just hit this plus in Airtable and add data from a CSV, spreadsheet, many other sources. But in this case, I actually need Omni to go search the web and find some potential guests for one of our podcasts. So I'm gonna ask it to do that. And here we go, Omni is now returning real people from the web that it found, that it researched, who might be good potential guests for our podcast. So I'll hit this plus right here to save this data to my app. I'll save it to the existing table, which is the guests table. And there we go, all of those potential guests have been added to our app. Okay, now let's talk about field agents. So you have all kinds of different fields to choose from in your Airtable app. You have text, you have single select, linked records, and many more. Field agents are a particularly powerful type of field. So a field agent is going to take specific instructions from us, as well as other data from each record and perform an action against every record in our table. So it's like an agent that lives right within your field. So let's ask Omni to add one. We're going to add a field agent that goes and searches the web for other relevant news or other media appearances or podcast appearances that each of these people have done recently. So look, Omni just created this field agent right here. So it gave it a name, Guest News and Media Appearances, Web Research. Enable Internet Research is on. In this case, we're set to run automatically. So you have the option to let an agent run as soon as it has all the context that it needs or to manually trigger it. 
We can choose which model we want to use. You might choose a lower cost model for a simpler task. For something like web research, a more powerful model uh, will likely yield a better quality. And then look at this prompt. So Omni has written the entire prompt that this field agent is going to use to go and conduct its research and bring back its output. So it's given it a role. It's given it some instructions around tone. It's given it instructions around the quality of the sources that it should look for. I can come in here and edit this prompt directly however I see fit. So if something's not quite right, I have complete control over the instructions that I want this field agent to follow. And then down here is where I'm gonna provide the data that the field agent needs to go and perform the specific research for each record. So this pill right here that says guest name, that's gonna take the actual guest name from each record and place it right there in each prompt. Same for the current institution or title and position. So we can add these simply by hitting the insert field button and then dropping in any field on this table as part of the prompt. So you take all the context and data from the other fields and give them to the field agent. So let's save our new field agent and then watch what happens. It's gonna go and run at scale across every single record in this table. So this agent is searching the web to go and find relevant recent information about each of these potential guests. It's like you have a whole team of research interns all working at the same time to go and actually perform this work for you. Okay, let's see what the field agent came back with here. So for this particular professor, it looks like they were featured in a spotlight profile. Um, there's some details here about that, a YouTube interview. And the field agent has actually cited its sources. So I can go through and inspect its work and maybe get the full story from the source itself. Okay, now let's add another field agent. Let's take the output from the web research agent and pass it into another field agent to do something else. So let's add a field agent that writes potential discussion questions for each guest using the web research that we just found. All right, and Omni has now created this field agent. So let's see what it came up with here. What I wanna look for is, did it pass in this web research context? Yes, it did. So look what happened here. So we're now taking the output from the guest news and media appearances web research agent and putting it into this prompt that's gonna draft the actual interview questions. In this case, I'm actually gonna turn internet search off for this field agent because the web research has been done in the previous step and I don't need this one to actually itself go and access the web. So it's got some examples in here. Omni wrote all of this, by the way, this entire prompt. I don't have to edit anything unless I see something is off or I need to correct something. And then here we go. Look, there's discussion questions here that refer to what the web research agent found and offer our host a nice starting point for potential conversation topics. All right, now one more field agent. So earlier we added this long text field to the episodes table for the transcript. I'm gonna drop in an entire fictional transcript into this field. So this is just AI generated content. But this is the kind of data that you can put into a single field for a single record in Airtable, an entire transcript here. So this is not like a spreadsheet where you just have kind of a tiny box. We have the whole transcript. And now with those pieces in place, let's ask Omni to add one more field agent that's going to write a social media post using the best quotes from the transcript. So same idea as what we just saw, it's gonna take the context and content from this transcript field and provide it to that field agent that's gonna write the social media post for each episode. And here's our new field agent freshly created. So it's got instructions to go and create really thought provoking, crisp social media content using the transcript. So it's that same idea by putting this field within the prompt, we're gonna get the data from that field for each record to provide to this field agent. So that entire transcript for every episode is gonna be provided to this field agent so it can comb through, pull out the best quotes and write that social media content. So we'll save that and then let's see what this one came up with for this one example. So there it is. So there's a particular quote from the transcript with a little bit of a caption and we can give all kinds of instructions to make that more specific to our needs but that's the core idea of how to use field agents within your Airtable app. All right, finally, let's experience our app from the interface layer. So we're here on the podcast list interface. There are so many different ways to visualize your data on the interface that we won't get into in this video. But what we're simply looking at here is a list of each of the records for our podcast table. 
and the episodes underneath those. And then we can click into any given episode and look at all the details about that. So in this case, we've got what podcast is it associated with, the episode description. I can drag and drop to move any of these elements around on this particular interface that's zooming into the episode's detail. I can have attachments. Uh, I can have a summary of the episode. This one was actually one of the field agents that Omni created for us as part of our initial um, app creation. Information about the guests, information about the sponsors, that field for the ad read, and then I can have the entire transcript on here as a field as well. So this is in the editing experience for an interface. When I'm ready to actually share this as a finished product, I'll just hit publish. And then this is the experience that my team and I would actually use to run our podcast operations. And so with these fields being editable from the interface, we can come in here and make edits directly. And you'll see that the edits made on the interface, if we go to the episode called Echoes Forward, we'll see that that edit that we just made is here in the data layer as well. So think of the data layer as kind of the back end and the interface as the front end or the storefront for your workflow. So we are able to visualize and act on all of our data from right here. We can see those AI agents firing and performing our work for us here from the interface layer. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and you're feeling ready to build your own custom AI apps on Airtable. Visit the Airtable AI playbook for more demos and templates on real AI apps that you can start using and making your own right away. And head to Airtable Academy for courses to uplevel your career skills for the AI era. Links in the description.